Hey Capricorn, this is Soul, and Capricorn, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of tw uh, August 22nd through the um, 28th, 2016. Okay, so let's get right into your messages, Capricorn. For some Capricorns this upcoming week, you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the Two of Disc in the upright position. So, the Two of Disc is, is really a positive card. It's, it all depends, though. It could be that some of you... Uh, this upcoming week have to perform a lot of juggling and uh, balancing um, acts. This is a general reading, so you have to, again, apply the messages that are close, personal, or significant for you. So it could be, you know, a juggling act involving a relationship, a friendship, a job, you know, trying to get the children off. Um, you know, for those children that start school early, so it could be part of that energy as well. But anything, like I said, also to the two of disc, I'm reading for a Capricorn or two that wants to purchase something major, but they may be uh, short. This is a big ticket item, but they may feel like they don't have enough money to purchase that. And if that's the case, then the emphasis is for you to um, wait another week as I feel that there could be another opportunity to uh, purchase that big ticket item that you want. The twos represents two people, so it could be, like I said before, um, for those single Capricorns, meeting someone new when it comes to uh, intimate or romantic relationships. So it's also two could come across as a new development of a friendship. And then because it is the disc and it represents finance and work, it could be that there's a Capricorn or two that gets along very well with uh, someone that they work with that also could be a, you know, earth sign. They don't have to be an earth sign. It could be any zodiac sign, but you're getting a well, excuse me, you're getting along well with that individual, that coworker. OK, it's like you work well together. All right. So it's not bad energy. Uh, for some of you to experience this week now the card that's up next is a card of concern but it all depends on how the messages are taken now that's nine of swords is not a good card to get really uh in a reading whether it's a general reading or a, rom a romantic reading um it's powerful energy so the nine of swords represents betrayal lies deceptions um uh, stress high anxiety yeah high anxiety and some of this may relate to having to worry and having sleepless nights okay i'm getting a message here for a few of you capricorns out there is basically not to be so damn trusting of uh, the people that are in your life now Again, like I said, this is a general reading, so I'm trying to cover all areas and aspects of your life. So this trust could reach out into intimate romantic relationships, friendships, people that you work with, uh, somebody in the family. You know, we do have people in our families that do these things and, you know, outsiders wouldn't understand but they do occur, you know, your family members lie to you, they betray you, they deceive you, you know, and all of this may apply to all of those things I just mentioned, so it's not just for romantic and intimate relationships, the emphasis here and the message that I'm putting, I'm trying to put out to you Capricorn is not to be so trusting of the people that are close to you, okay, because this is the week this could be a week where some of this energy comes your way. All right. Now, I am getting it that is more coming your way than it is you. In terms of your energy going to someone else, because this is your reading. OK, there's a lot of knives here, so just be careful of this energy. Some of this could be related to air signs, Gemini, Libra. Aquarius, male or females, doing that, uh, you know, doing those things to you, lies, deceiving, you know, possibly betraying. Now I'm hearing here, now 
this nine of swords there's a there's a capricorn or two that i'm reading for specifically about a friendship someone deceives capricorn this week that's uh i feel that there um was a heavy emphasis of trust placed into this individual and they do something to capricorn to make Capricorn distrust them, okay? There's some sort of dishonesty going on here. Somebody's not being truthful to Capricorn. And I feel that this is the week of revelations. It will be coming to you. Someone that you placed your trust in, you know? It may not be, a, if it's not a family member, it could be somebody, a friend that you called a family member, you know, or were like a family member. And it turns out that something they do is no way like a family member not that family members couldn't do the same thing but you know what I'm talking about blood is thicker than water but anyway just be careful of that energy and I feel that it could be coming from another earth sign uh, since we have the prince of disc in the reverse so the nine of swords and the Prince of Discs that sits next to that Nine of Swords with the card in the reverse position. And then the snake at the bottom of the feet. You know, I don't know. Snakes to me always represent some sort of, uh, you know, evil, deception, betrayal, lies, venomous. And it's at the bottom of the feet. If you can look at this card on this Prince of Discs that's in the reverse. So it could actually represent you Capricorn because I'm reading for you and that this betrayal, these lies, deceptions happen to you and it turns you upside down because of the trust issues that I'm picking up here. Or it could be the energy of outside of the betrayal. No, I'm sticking with the betrayal. I don't like to change and try to throw shit through the wall to make a stick. Somebody is going to Somebody, whether family, friend, romantic partner, somebody's going to do something to Capricorn this week. Uh, so, but at least you're watching my videos to get the heads up that someone is not to be trusted or someone you entrusted. Family member, friend, romantic partner. There's something that's going on here. Okay. This may be the start of the energy for you this week. By the Friday going into the weekend, it may be a settling down of that energy because we have the nine of disc, which is, you know, still your energy. But this nine of disc is all about, um, you know, options as well. It's also a building foundation of finances. Oh, and then the two of disc. Let me go back to that. Some of you may be trying to balance your uh, checkbooks, too, with the two of this showing up and then the nine of disc so it's a rebuilding of those finances also i feel there's an opportunity um for a new job this could be a promotion you could be already working for those capricorns that i'm speaking to and then there's a uh friday you might receive some sort of news of a promotion or something or some sort of advancement related to your career if so then the nine of disc represents an increase of income okay some of you are moving into uh more stability when it comes to your finances and your income and part of that reason why i said that some of you are thinking about big ticket items to purchase just hold off because see this is the building up of that okay so the, you're going to have the income but you may not be ready to purchase it this particular week uh coming up just hold off another week and then maybe things and the energy would shift and change for you so, and then it may be the nine of this showing up for uh, you as you saving up to, uh, you know, to purchase that big ticket item that I'm, I'm hearing. There's a Capricorn that was something really, really bad, but they just don't have the money for it right now. So just wait another week for it to come in. Also to, and related to options, the two of two of this represents two people so it could be for the single capricorns that i'm reading for meeting someone new possibly another earth sign again doesn't have to be but you have many options here someone receives a pay raise there's a commission 
possible bonus with the nine of this showing up. The nine of this is also related to security and stability. So that could be within a uh, relationship for some of you feeling that way going Friday into uh, the weekend. But also, too, I have to say, because it sits next to this Prince of Disc in the reverse, it could be a shakeup of your security and stability if there is a person around you that does the nine of swords energy towards you okay so i did want to throw that in anyway this is your reading um capricorn um the golden path oracle card that i have selected for you to complement your reading is oh, okay emotions you got emotions too so anyway emotion says i think i just selected this for another sign Emotion says a pool of suppressed emotions lies trapped within you and it is time to release them. There is no need to worry. You can do this safely. It is beneficial for you to express your feelings. Allow them to surface. It is okay for you to open your heart. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. The best medicine is to empty yourself of everything. This is a time for healing old wounds a time for renewal, a time of profound and positive transformation. Okay, so if there are any Capricorns out there uh, dealing with pent up emotions, this card comes through to say it's time to um, be, you know, learn to release those emotions. It's never good to have anything from the past um, going into the present and the future. That's holding you back or down. Okay. Release. Learn to release those emotions. Let them go. Okay. All right. So Capricorn, this is your reading. If the above reading does not resonate with you, these cards are drawn. Of course, there may be a message in there for you that does and vice versa. Okay, Capricorn. Thank you so much uh, for visiting my channel. I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Sending out a lot of positive vibes and energy your way. Till the next time, Capricorn. I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.